My name is Vamsi Ravala and I'm from the Application Services Product Group at Red Hat. In this video, I'll be talking about API delivery management and see how we can achieve it with Red Hat 3 Scale API management. APIs, like any other software product, go through different lifecycle stages, such as they start off at beta, then become generally available and eventually get deprecated. A good API management tool must provide an easy and effective way to achieve this without burdening the API developers. This video will showcase a demo on how to easily transition an API through these different stages. Let's check it out. All right, now let's see how we can achieve this with Red Hat 3 Scale. We have a country currency API that we have managed in 3 Scale. This API takes the currency as a query parameter and provides a list of all the countries that use that currency and some additional details about them. First things first, let's try to access the API through the API gateway using a wrong user key. Obviously, we get an authentication fail message. And just for the records here, we'll be using user key as the default authentication method for our API in this exercise. But also remember that 3Scale supports other forms of authentication such as you know, key pair combination and open ID connect. Now, First, let's assume our API is in a tech preview or beta mode, and we'd like to give access only to a limited number of trusted external developers. 3Scale provides us with a very simple way to do this. All you have to do is go to the application plans and check this approval required box and publish the API onto your developer portal. Now let's see what the workflow looks like. I'm logging in as user one, who will try to sign up to our API that is currently in tech preview. I'm creating an application to access the API. And as soon as you create an application, you can see that the status goes to pending with an awaiting approval message. This user has to wait until he or she is approved before they can access the API. Now, the API admin or provider sees that someone has signed up for the API and this app one is from a trusted user who they want to give, ac who, who they want to give the beta access to. The admin goes ahead and accepts the request and now the status of the app changes to live. Let's go ahead and test this with the API key assigned to this app if it works. There you go. The authentication key works and the API sends a successful response. Now imagine that this API has been in tech preview for some time and now we are fairly confident we can open it up to a larger audience. Basically, we want to move it to a general availability stage from tech preview. So after GA, API consumers should now be able to get an API key without the additional approval step. So again, all we have to do is to uncheck the required approval box and we are all set. Let's test the workflow. Let's log in as a new user, which is user two in our case, who has not signed up to this API already. Let's go ahead and hit sign up. Let's create an app too, and as soon as we create the application, it is live and is assigned a key without any approval required. Again, let's go back to the API and check if the newly assigned API key works. There you go. The new authentication key works and the API sends a successful response. Now, let's say maybe after three to four years, the demand for your API has gone down and you would like to deprecate it. You don't want new signups, but at the same time, you'd like the old apps or users who signed up earlier to retain their access. You just want to keep the lights on as far as this API is concerned. With 3Scale, all you have to do is hide or unpublish the API so that new users would not be able to sign up to it anymore from the dev portal. Let's go ahead and check that. Let's log in as a new user, which is user three who has not signed up to this API already. When user three logs into the dev portal, he or she would not see any options to sign up to the API as we have deprecated it. But we must also ensure that the apps that have signed up earlier are still able to access the API in spite of it being deprecated. Yes, as you can see, the apps with the previously generated API keys are still able to access these APIs. You can also modify the billing rules for the plans and charge the older consumers an extended life fee if needed. So that's how we can manage the different delivery stages of your API using Red Hat 3 Scale API management. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you.